welcome friends now in this session i'll be strictly explaining you about how to write the program and how to improve the readability of the program so in this session i'll be explaining you the program to calculate area and circumference of circle next will be area and perimeter of rectangle third is of simple interest calculation and fourth is how to calculate the bill of electricity so let's start with the program for area of calculating sir so let's start with the program of calculating area and circumference of a circle so here i'm defining radius so here i'm defining radius equal to 100 area where the formula of area is pi r square so i'm taking 3.14 into radius into radius and then i'm taking circumference equals to 2 into 3.14 into radius and i'm just printing here print radius print area and print circumference my variable is circum sorry fine now i'll save this program and let's execute so i'm getting value as 100 3.1400 and 6280 now since i have written the program i know the first values of radius second is of area and third of circumference but then to an unknown person what it accepts whether it's initialize or what it is returning is not known so i have to make my program more readable and more interactive so let's see how it can be done so i'll modify this program very first i'll give title to this or the heading to this that is program to calculate area and circumference of circle now here i'll write print or rather instead of print i'll directly take input and here i'll write enter the radius equal to fine now since it is returning me string i'm supposed to type cast it to integer so i'm writing into integer so this will give me integer of the string entered now i'm calculating radius and circumference now here while printing also i'll write radius equal to here i'll write area equal to and here i'll write circumference equal to so now i've modified the program now let's see its output so run it says enter the radius so i'm entering 100 Now, so it is giving radius equal to 100, area equal to some value, and circumference equal to some value. So the readability is more improved. So in this way, I can comment the program and make it more and more readable. So I hope this much is clear. Now let's see the program of finding perimeter and area of a rectangle. fine let's see the program to calculate area and perimeter of rectangle in which i have defined length and i have converted into integer because uh, this input statement will give me string 
same way breadth I have read and converted into integer then I am calculating area equal to length into breadth perimeter equal to twice length plus breadth now I can make it more readable just by writing here calculate calculation of area and perimeter and here I will give a comment that is display the details of rectangle. Now this makes my program more and more readable. So let us execute this program. Fine, it is asking me to enter length. I am entering 10, breadth 20. So length is 10, breadth is 20. So area is 100, uh, 10 into 20 that is 200. And breadth, uh, perimeter is length plus breadth is 30 into 2 that is 60. Fine. So in this way, my program becomes more readable and nice to understand. So I hope this is clear. Now let's see the program to calculate simple interest. Fine. Now this is my program to calculate simple interest. Now here first I am reading the principal amount, rate of interest and number of years. Now since these three are entered as string, I am converting or typecasting it into integer. And now here I am calculating the simple interest. Now see here, simple interest are two words, but I cannot define two words. So in short what I have done, sim from the simple underscore in from the interest. So it gives a meaningful variable. I have told you that always define the variable which are meaningful. So I am, uh, so the formula for calculation of simple interest is principal amount into rate of interest into number of years divided by 100. So here it is principal amount rate of interest into number of years divided by 100. And then I have displayed the principal amount, rate of interest, number of year and the simple interest calculated. So let us execute this program. Run. So invalid syntax. Where it is syntax? I have missed out with comma over here. Fine. So I have corrected this. See this is interpreter. Where there is an error, it stops and then I have to correct the error and execute it again. So I am running the module. Yeah, it is asking for simple interest, amount, uh, principal amount that is 1000 rupees. Rate of interest is 10% and for the number year is 2. So what is the interest? Interest is 200 rupees. You can see principal amount is 1000. Rate of interest is 10. Number of year is 2. So 1000 into 10 that is 10,000 into 2, 20,000 divided by 100 is 200. In this way I can write the program. So please participants, students, teachers write such small small programs and execute it. Now you will be waiting that why I have not explained the fourth program but that is an assignment for you. That is how to calculate the electricity bill. So you have to read the number of unit from the user and then you have to read the rate of unit and then calculate the bill and display. So such small small programs you can execute. Have a nice time, enjoy your day, stay safe and I hope these programs are clear and this way you can write the programs which are more readable and easy to understand. Take care and wait for my next session.